the validate decal tool is a developer tool, but it may also be useful in some circumstances to users and decal creators. It's used to find problems with decals, or confirm that everything is in order. A decal is comprised of an object, a material, and one or multiple textures. All of these carry a number of properties, some are shared, and some are unique. The validate decal tool then checks for the presence of the object, material and textures, and if all the properties are in sync, and outputs the results in a dialog. If you run the tool on a normal object, this is what it looks like. The object is not a decal, there's no decal material and there are no decal textures either. In comparison, this is what it looks like for a valid decal. You have the basic components at the top. Next are the shared properties, which indicate things like the decal type and library. You can also find the decal creator here. Below are specific properties for the object and material. Various tools of decal machine read and set these properties and use them to identify decals among other Blender objects. They are at the core of decal machine and represent a major change compared to the previous decal machine versions. If you validate a projected decal, you can see from the properties that the decal is in fact projected. You can also see the backup object in the object the decal is projected on. And if you validate a shrink wrap decal, you will find that it looks exactly like an unprojected decal. That's because shrink wrapping is non destructive and can be easily undone. So a shrink wrap decal is basically unchanged. Panel decals are similar to projected decals in that they have a backup object associated with them, and there's also an object there sliced on. Finally, you can also create a new UUID or set a new creator using the validate decal tool. But again, these are developer tools. If you intentionally break a decal, for instance by removing one of its textures, the validate tool will recognize this. It will also know if any of the properties are out of sync, which should never happen. A valid decal will only have green checkmarks, and nothing else.